Good evening, everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful Falls, because I sure am. I bought myself a poncho. Let me tell you, if you are going to buy a poncho, if you're going to do a shit, make sure that you make sure that there's a hook on the back of the door, right? Otherwise your poncho will get very dirty, especially in those compost toilets. The ponchos are very practical for a festival, I find. It's a good way to waltz around the festival, exploring it completely in the nude. Just make sure if a gust of wind comes that there's no security around, because uh, your doodle will get flashed. But I don't really think that's a problem, because most people aren't wearing pants here anyway, are they? <laughs> Another thing you can do is you can you can smuggle a lot of shit past the security guards. You know, if you you know decide to bring your water in to stay hydrated, what you can do is when you get told to you know take it back to your car because they suspect that there's alcohol in it, what you do is you go back about two meters, providing you're wearing pants, put the water in your pants, put the poncho over the top, and waltz right back through. It's as easy as that. <laughs> so yeah, very practical the poncho. I really like it. <laughs> but one thing we've touched on a bit is, is drugs, I think. So, like, I cannot fathom why people actually bring drugs into a festival such as Falls. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, they're already here. Like, you can ask people for the drugs. Come on, guys. And what, what you can do, another way to get, like, a, you can get a second hand high. You can take off your shirt, bump some dude in the mosh, get his sweat into the pores of your skin. You get that real nice second-hand high, just from, just from being there, you know what I mean? I think a lot of people think that I do drugs because i got that long hair sort of look. It's not the case, I can tell you that. It's just because I wanted to have, you know, hair on my chest. <laughs> yeah, I feel very manly, you know? But if you are doing drugs, um, I can't, my liver's fucked from drinking and drugs. Um, no, just joking, but stay away from the orange fingers, guys. I've heard bad things, terrible things. But um, it's sort of beautiful, you know when you, like the, the sort of, when you, I don't know, like you know when you go to another country, right, and you can sort of start understanding a bit like of the language, you can start to understand what they're talking about, you can sort of understand the druggies a bit more, like when they're like, ah, 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 where do you know where they're going? And you're like, Actually, I think I know what that means. Yeah, so you follow the road there, take a left, and it's like a blue stall. I was there earlier. It's like, oh, yeah, thanks, man. It's, it's, it's a beautiful, like, connection, you know what I mean? But, yeah, back on the girls with no pants, is anyone, I'm sure you've all seen them, right? Like, I was walking across this path, and there's this girl with no pants, no top, approaching me, and, you know, me just being a guy, a normal guy. I approached her. I talked to her. I said, hey, there's a vintage store just down there that sells a bit of pants. Like, you should get some pants. For real cheap. What's the deal? Did you sell them for the, the ticket or for drugs? Or did you lose them? Put some pants on. <laughs> uh, some um, I checked out three on like the VIP sort of showers and toilets today. And as I was like asking, because I thought, hey, can this VIP get me a free shower? And I heard the lady tell the guy next to me that uh, it's $3 to pee and you get one flush. Straight up, I told this dude, mate, you're a fucking dickhead. You're a male, you've got a penis, you can pee anywhere you like for free. <laughs> Put that $3 in your pocket and get yourself a McChicken on the way home. So anyway, I went into the shower, it's all hot, and I saw like this door, it was open, it was green. I went in there and I was just like, oh, bloody hell, there's a naked guy in here. I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to come in with you to save a bit of water. <laughs> Plus, I'm a VIP, I'm allowed to be here. <laughs> I'm going to leave you on this, alright? Another thing with the VIP things is, uh, I saw this real scumbag VIP last night, hitting on lots of chicks, and he had this really dirty, like, sly move where he focused on the chick that he wanted, he point to his VIP band, point to the chick, then point to his crotch. I saw that, I'm like, mate, just because you're a VIP doesn't mean you get that sort of treatment. So I thought, as a man, I'm going to have a man-to-man -man conversation with this guy and tell him that's not how you get a woman. I said, mate, you should tell him the P stands for penis. <laughs> Who can turn down a very important penis? <laughs> Nobody. Thanks, guys. Have a great fall. I've been James Hansen.